today we got all the goods from Trader Joe's. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my favorite must-have products from Trader Joe's. I have gotten so many requests for this video and I do have a lot of products that I exclusively get from Trader Joe's just because the quality is so much better than say Whole Foods or Sprouts or another store. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Sorry if there is really bad acoustics in this video i'm actually cleaning the condo today and i usually shop at trader joe's when i come to clean the condo because we do not live in tucson we live about an hour away from tucson so whenever i'm here i'm doing lots of grocery shopping just because we don't have trader joe's or whole foods or anything like that in the city that we live if you hear a really bad echo or there's a fan going or any weird background noise i really really apologize it's just hard to get good sound in this condo but if i wait until i get home everything is going to be like melted and destroyed first i want to share with you guys a few fun facts about trader joe's that you might not know everything at trader joe's is actually gmo free they do not have any products that have gmos in them so if you're getting something that isn't organic you can rest assured that it is not a genetically modified product that was just something that i didn't know about trader joe's and it's really good to know. So thank you Trader Joe's for not including any genetically modified ingredients in any of your products. We thank you. Another cool thing to know is that if you are at Trader Joe's and you are unsure about something, they will let you sample anything in the store. So anything in the entire store, you can just go to a, to a person that works there, an employee, and just ask them like, hey, I wanna sample this product and they will open it for you and let you sample it. The last thing that I know about Trader Joe's is that if you don't like anything even if you don't have a receipt you can return it and get store credit so like say i buy this bag of raspberries and they suck you can bring the bag back and just tell them that you want a refund i recently got a bag of organic um, avocados and some of them just never ripened and they remained really hard so i'm actually going to bring those back to trader joe's and they will just give me store credit for it which i think is super cool because it's hard and it's always sometimes awkward to return things to a grocery store because you've like opened it and you've eaten some of it and sometimes you get a watermelon that sucks or you know it wasn't ripe at all and it's like you should be able to return these things because they're selling you you products that you can't even use or eat or anything like that so i think that's a really cool thing that trader joe's does and something that you guys should just know all right so let's get into the food haul i'm going to start with all the frozen things that i always buy at trader joe's the main thing that i always buy at trader joe's is their fruit their frozen fruit is impeccable compared to other places that I bought frozen fruit from. And the, my favorite frozen fruit to buy from Trader Joe's is actually their organic mango. I don't know what it is about this mango. They have some of the most legit frozen mango and I know for a fact because a lot of times you just throw frozen fruit into a smoothie and you don't really notice it but what i do a lot of times is actually defrost frozen fruit and then i'll eat it as a snack so this is one of the main things that i defrost and just eat as a snack and it always tastes amazing whereas like the other day i got a bag of organic frozen mango from whole foods and most of the pieces weren't even ripe they were the hard pieces from the mango and i just I was really disappointed. Another fruit that I always buy is the organic raspberries from Trader Joe's. I got two bags this time when I was there, organic blueberries and organic strawberries. Their frozen fruit is cheaper, better quality, and more amazing in my opinion than any other health food store I've ever bought frozen fruit from. And then I also just got a bag of pineapple tidbits. The next thing that I get every single time I go to Trader Joe's is their roasted corn. I use this in so many different things. I'll put it in burrito bowls and make corn chowder. I'll put it in a burrito or any kind of Mexican dish. This is not organic, but like I said, it is non-GMO. And that's the only real thing that I look for when I'm looking for corn is that it's not genetically modified corn. And the roasted corn, something about this roasted corn 
is so amazing to like just put on anything. You can put it on pizza, you can put it on top of any type of bowl. I'll eat it aside my mashed potatoes. Mm. Another thing I buy most of the time is these fire roasted peppers, onions, and I buy this mostly for convenience, but the taste is really good. So what I typically put this in will be like hash browns or if I'm making fajitas or tofu scramble, sometimes I'll put it just in like a soup or a stew or on top of burrito bowls again because we're always eating burrito bowls. Something about the fire roasted of this is just amazing. The next thing I get every single time I go to Trader Joe's is their frozen shredded hash browns. These are the best hash browns I've ever had. And if you love hash browns, they're really um, cheap, they're convenient to make because they're already shredded. And the only thing that they have in the ingredients is potatoes and dextrose, which dextrose is just a kind of sugar that they use as a preservative to keep them white. But these are definitely my favorite frozen hash browns and I think that they're the best priced for what you're getting. I love them and I buy them every time I go to Trader Joe's. The next thing that I really like to get at Trader Joe's is this whole wheat lavash bread. This is the only thing I really ever buy that isn't gluten-free and I'm not really strict about being gluten-free just because I don't have celiac or anything, but I do have a little bit of a gluten intolerance. But I love this lavash bread. It's perfect for wraps and burritos and it basically is just stone wheat, stone ground wheat flour, a little bit of water, salt, and yeast. And it just has like the best texture for burritos and stuff. And I like the ingredients in it because usually when I buy burrito tortillas, they have so many weird ingredients in it and I just don't like it. And the only other real tortilla that I ever buy other than the next ones I'll show you is the Ezekiel ones. But I find that they're really hard and it's just really hard to wrap anything in them. So these are definitely my go-to for wraps, for tacos, for sometimes I'll even just use them as a pizza base. Amazing. Speaking of wraps, the next thing that I always get is corn tortillas. So these, the only ingredients is stone ground corn, water, and traces of lime. I use these all the time to just put in my toaster and I'll cut them up and I'll make them into chips or I'll make tacos with them and refried beans or I'll just chop them up and put them in my air fryer and make little tortilla strips to again go on top of burrito bowls. Or, they're just a very versatile product and I like that they have minimal ingredients. So I, these are always on my list when I go to Trader Joe's. The next thing that is always on my list and I cannot, like, <laughs> I can't live without this stuff, you guys. I'm addicted, <laughs> I'll admit it. And the last time that I was at Trader Joe's, they were out of it and I almost cried. Like, literally, I almost shed tears. Eggplant hummus. And I usually always buy two of these. If you're gonna buy multiples, just make sure that you check the date. So this one is 10 days out. So these will be good for a while, but this stuff is so amazing. It's oil-free. The ingredients in it are really simple. It's just chickpeas, eggplant, tahini, lemon juice, garlic, water, sea salt, and pomegranate juice. And it is my favorite hummus in the world. I put it on everything. I put it on my red lentil chili. I'll put it in wraps. I'll dip veggies in it. I just, I just love it and I can't live without it. And I did make my own hummus last time and Derek actually said it was better than this. And I'm like, you're on drugs or something because this stuff is, I don't know, I just don't understand how they make it. If you've ever had it, you know what I'm talking about. It is the best hummus in the world. The next few things I'm gonna show you guys are things that I buy sometimes. So if you're ever in Trader Joe's and you want a good healthy snack, these Just Mango Slices are legit. I know that they do have some organic ones. Um, I've seen them before, but they weren't there this time that I was there. But these mango slices are so good. Like. They're perfectly ripe mangoes. They're soft, oh, so good. Oh. If you need a snack, I highly recommend you get these slices. And then the next few things are just condiments that I typically buy when I'm at Trader Joe's. One of my favorites is this chili pepper sauce. It actually is salt free. It has a tiny bit of sugar in it, so it's not technically SOS free, but it is totally sodium free and 
I don't know, again, I don't know how they make this stuff. The flavor of it is incredible. If it tastes like it has salt in it, I just, I don't get it. Another thing that I like to get is this green dragon sauce. And this is really good, again, on tofu, again, on burrito bowls or tacos. It's kind of a cilantro hot sauce, but I don't really think that it's that hot. It just kind of has more of a green verde salsa flavor. But it's really good if you like Mexican food or you just kind of want that kind of vibe going on. It's it's a really good sauce to put into your rotation. I don't know if there would be a Trader Joe's video without recommending this product, but everybody has to buy the everything but the bagel seasoning. It is legit and it's so good with the eggplant hummus, if you put this on top of bread with some avocado and some everything bagel or on top of a potato with eggplant hummus and avocado and everything bagel seasoning, it will make your potato taste like a bagel, for real. And then the last thing that I usually always get at Trader Joe's is this 21 seasoning saute. It is a salt-free, just really good seasoning that you can add to pretty much everything, like I add it to a lot of stuff. It has onion, celery seed, black pepper, cayenne pepper, parsley, basil, marjoram, bay leaf, oregano thyme. It has 21 different seasonings in it, and it's kind of, um, what would you compare it to? If you've ever had the Bragg's seasoning that has all the different flavors in it, it's kind of like that, except for it doesn't have oil in it. It does have oil of lemon, but that's just lemon oil for flavoring. So good. So good on potato fries. So that is everything that I typically get when I go to Trader Joe's. Because we live so far away, I have this master list of all these products, and I just always, when I'm in Trader Joe's, make sure that I have at least one of these at home, because if I start running out of eggplant hummus, it's not a pretty day. Anyways, these are just the products that I typically always buy. I highly recommend you try them out next time you're in Trader Joe's. Let me know what you think or if you use them for any other purposes that I do, like other than burrito bowls. Let me know what you use them for because I would love to try them on other things and know what you guys are using all this stuff for. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Peace.